What's going on guys, it is Caleb, and today I am bringing a new course to uh, my channel. Previously, um, it's just been JavaScript, but the JavaScript course is coming to an end and will nearly be finished. So, I thought, well, with all this great JavaScript that we have been learning, how can we implement this on our um, web pages? So... First of all, you would have to know some, or if not, uh, uh, quite a bit of HTML. And if you don't already know um, any HTML, this is a good um, place to start. Um, especially learning the basics, it'd be fairly easy. Um, I'm not sure if this covers HTML5, and actually it does cover cover HTML5, which is the newest HTML. Uh, I just looked up here on the right-hand corner, saw the little 5 up there. So, um, I stand corrected. So let's go ahead and get started with today's lesson, an introduction to HTML. Here, here you will learn the HTML, the language itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Every web page you look at is written in a language called HTML. You think of HTML as the skeleton that gives every web page structure. In this course, we'll use HTML to add paragraphs, headings, images, and links to a web page. In the editor to the right, there is a tab called test.html. This is the file we'll type our HTML into. See the code with the brackets, which really, this is the um, greater than or less than signs. Um, that's HTML. Like any language, it is known, or it has its own special syntax, rules for communicating. When we press run, the results tab will act like the internet browser. Example, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, etc. A browser's job is to transform the code in test.html into a recognizable web page. It knows how to lay out the page by following the HTML syntax. So step number one. To the right, we have test.html file. Change the text on line two to anything you like. There is also a results tab. It acts just like the browser does. Hit submit and you'll see how the test.html file would look in a browser. Did you see that? The strong tags made your text bold. So this is just introducing you to one of the tags and um, if you're new to HTML everything is br um, within tags and when I say tags I mean you have a greater than sign, the name of the tag, and then you have a less than sign. And then you can also pass in inline styles and etc. and um, attributes and all kinds of great stuff. But within the tags, you have whatever. Um, for this example, we're doing a um, we're typing in a string or um, other known as sort of a paragraph, sort of. Um, but we're typing it within a strong tag, and what a strong tag will do, it will result in your text to being bold. And there's many ways to do this through HTML, but doing, using the strong tag is one of the um, easiest ways. So if we go ahead and click submit, we'll get it correct and we can continue on to our next exercise. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext means text within the links in it. Anytime you click on a word that brings you to a new web page, you've clicked a hypertext. A markup language is a programming language used to make text do more than just sit on a page. It can turn text into images, links, tables, lists, and much more. HTML is markup language we'll be learning, or is the markup language we will be learning. What makes web pages so pretty? The CSS or CSS Cascade Style Sheets. Think of it like skin and makeup that covers the bones of HTML. We'll learn that HTML first, then worry about CSS in later courses. The first thing we should do is set up the skeleton of the page. So when we create an HTML page, we always start with a doc type. And this is a, a way to identify our HTML code with the browser, because there are, ve there are many different kinds of doc types. Um, not only that, but there's different versions of HTML. You have HTML3, HTML5, you know, and it just goes on and on from strict to um, so forth. And so on the first line, this tells the browser what language it's reading. In this case, it's going to be reading HTML. Always put an HTML tag on the line. 
This starts the HTML document. And always put a backslash HTML on the last line. This ends the document. So pretty much what they're saying is the doc type doc type tag is um remember it's all capital letters so whenever you type in doc type it's d o c t y p e doc type and then html like so now that's all you need to do for that but to start an html tag as you can see code academy automatically gives you the end of the tag as you can see right here it already created the end tag for the HTML and an end tag the only difference between an end tag and a start tag is that one will have this little slash right here and that indicates that it's ending the HTML tag now all of your code within or all of your code that you want to be displayed on the web page goes within the HTML tag nothing goes outside of this tag except for the HTML doc type which will be explained later on. So go ahead and put these three lines mentioned above in the test.html, which is now blank. In between the second and last line, between the HTML and the in HTML tag, feel free to write whatever message you like. So we can go ahead and type whatever we want within this, but this is not the proper way to do it. As you can see if we go to the result, it's just going to display our text. So let's go ahead and click submit. And let's go to the basic terminology so to learn more about HTML we should learn how to talk about HTML already you have seen we use the little tags a lot things inside that that are called tags <laughs> tags nearly always come in pairs an opening tag and a closing tag an example of an opening tag like I said before is HTML. An example of a closing tag is the little slash before the HTML. You can think of tags as being like parentheses. Whenever you open one, you should close it. Tags also nest, so you should close them in the right order. The most recently tagged open should be the first one closed, like in the example below. First tag, second tag, some text closing the second tag, and then closing the first tag. And this is a proper way to nest an element within tags. And we'll get more in depth about that in nodes later on throughout this course. So the last exercise taught us how to set up our HTML file. Everything we need to do now will go between the HTML tags. Practice makes perfect. One more time, put in the doc type HTML tag, put in the HTML opening tags, and between the HTML tags, write whatever you like and press submit and see what you've written on the page. So let's go ahead and click submit and let's go ahead and make the head. Everything in our HTML file will go between the opening HTML and closing HTML tags. There are always two parts to the file, the head and the body. Let's focus on the head. A. It, it has an opening and closing tag. The head includes important information about the web page, such as a title. The title is the words we see in the tab. For example, the title of this page is Introduction to HTML. And you can't see the title right now, but if you were to look up on top of your um, tab in your browser, you would see a um, Introduction to HTML as the title of this document. So go ahead and add a head tag, opening and closing tag. See the hint for more. Between the head tags, add in an opening title and closing title tags. And between the title tags, write the title of your web page. Bad to the Bones Web Page Inc. Press Submit and see the results tab changes it in. So if we just go ahead and copy this Bad to the Bones Web Page Inc. What we want to do now, it's already created our HTML and our head tags. So get used to um, proper nesting things and using the tab key because it just not only makes your HTML stuff look better you can also read it easier and other programmers or web developers can also read it a lot simpler and it's not all compiled together and there's no white space which really sucks because when you have a really big page and you have all this um, HTML tags and they're all squished together you have to go in there and you have to see oh this is this and that's that but that's that. So let's go ahead and get started by creating our title tag. And as you can see, whenever we create a tag, 
Code Academy automatically closes our tag. And then we just want to paste in our tag name or our title name. And um, as you can see to the right, it automatically changed bad to the bones of web page ink. So we go ahead and click submit. We get this web page. Obviously, it's blank because we haven't put anything within the body tag, which we'll learn about in the next exercise. So let's go to paragraphs in the body. We have set up the, a lot of the basic things for your HTML file for you. This is so you won't get mad at us for too much repetition. Please learn it well. We have learned about opening and closing tags. When we put content between the tags, the entire bit is called an element. Element equals opening tag plus the content plus the closing tag. Notice that both tags now, or notice we have both title tags now, but we need body tags. The content in the body is what will be visible on the actual page. The body goes inside the HTML tags, but not inside the head tags like this. So it should be HTML, then you should have your head tags, and then still with inside, it should be nested in your HTML tags, and it sh you should have a body tag. And um, when I say nested, I just mean that it's within this um, tag. So the, eight, the head and the body are both nested, and we'll learn a lot more about that as we go throughout this um, chapter. Or not necessarily a chapter, but just learning HTML. Between the title tags, give your page a name. It can be anything. Underneath the closing head tag, put in the opening and closing body tags. Inside the body, let's create paragraphs. Each paragraph requires opening and closing P tags. We put content in between the tags. Between the body tags, create two paragraphs and write content in each paragraph. This will require two pairs of P tags. So let me just go ahead and reset my editor. So as you can see, it already has our head tag marked up for us. So we can put whatever we want within this. So we can be like, I am the title. Um, there we go. And now we want to go outside of our head and we want to open a new body tag. And remember, Everything that's with inside your body tag will be visible on your web page. And it specifies that we want to create two paragraph tags, and these are new for us. So to create a paragraph tag, we just open um, greater than sign, less than side with a P in the middle. And as you can see, we can type whatever we want within this. So we can just say, um, I am the first paragraph, and throw a smiley face. And then we can make another paragraph. And we can be like, um, HTML is awesome. So let's go ahead and submit this. And so we have our first paragraph. I'm the first paragraph, and which was misspelled, unfortunately. And then we have HTML is awesome in our second paragraph. So guys, if you like this introduction to HTML and you want to see more in future videos, make sure to like up the video. Um, subscribe and obviously I'm going to be making more of these videos for you guys because I know you guys love them and you guys support me so until next time guys thank you for watching and have a good day